And the reason why I don't think it's very good is just because it's so obvious what they were trying to do and they were trying to cause controversy over symbols that are uh, unsophisticated. I think they shouldn't have taken it down because art uh, speaks to so many different people and people should make up their own opinions about a work in particular. I mean, it's all political and um, I think it's one reason I'm living in Maputo. When you look at such things, it's, um, I'm much more freer where I'm staying right now. It's, 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 it's kind of like an extension of, of things that I've seen before. So I guess it, it, it demonstrates what the people's, the, I mean, the artist's sentiments of what he thinks is going on in the country. So. For me, I'm quite indifferent about it. I really don't have a point of view. I'm very taken, it's very energetic and dynamic and violent. And I think that's what's so interesting about it. And, um, it's quite painful to look at, actually. Well, my understanding is a, a concept of um, the big guys kind of uh, seeing the little guys struggle as a form of entertainment. Uh, my name's Karen Botter. Um, I work for a cosmetics brand. Um, I run their digital marketing and e-commerce in South Africa. My name is Susan and I am involved in Art Matters. My name is Mahotza and I'm a fashion media consultant in Maputo. Okay, well, I'm Loretta Moilan and I'm a journalist. So. <laughs> So, yeah. Sure, I'm Fiona Melrose and I'm a writer. Um, my name is Menzim Zemela and I'm a third year multimedia student.